there, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com, and today I want to show you the adorable Pilot Kakuno. This is a very inexpensive, durable workhorse pen that I think is going to be great for kids, students, new fountain pen users, uh, and really anybody who just wants kind of a playful pen. The Kakuno is available in a gray body that has a smoke grip section that comes with a medium nib and a adorable smiley face on it that has a blue, lime, or red cap. And it's also available in a white body with a clear grip that has a fine nib with a winky face that has a pink, purple, or turquoise cap. In my hand, the grip is fairly thin, not incredibly thin though, it's very comfortable even though I have larger hands. And it's got very kind of slight triangular facets, much like the Lamy Safari does, but it's thicker than the Safari. So I think um, for those who like that triangle grip, but the Safari is too thin, this is going to be a great alternative. The step on it is very subtle uh, because it has no threads, it's a snap cap. And my first impression is it's very favorable, overall very comfortable pen to hold. Overall, the pen is only 12 grams in weight. It's incredibly light, about eight and a half grams in the body alone. So it's probably one of the lightest pens I've ever held. It feels very balanced because it's so light. There's really no front or back weighting to it, whether it's posted or unposted or whatever. It's really gonna be pleasing for just about anybody, no matter your hand size. The nib on the Kakuno, it's a stainless steel nib, and it's identical to the Pilot Metropolitan. So if you're familiar with that, it's gonna write exactly the same. And the nibs are actually friction fit and swappable with the Metropolitan, the Prera, and the Plumix. The flow is smooth and consistent, and it's a fine and medium nibs are both on the thin side, which is gonna work especially well if you're writing on more absorbent paper, like if you're a student and you're going for economy. It has a snap cap that has got a push to post. It's very secure on the back too. Uh, there's no clip per se, but it does have a roll stop and the pen has a hexagonal body. So it's not gonna tend to roll all over the place. It fills with a Pilot & Mickey cartridge or converter. There is no converter included, unfortunately. So if you wanna use bottled ink, you're gonna have to buy a converter separately and it'll fit any of the Pilot converters with the exception of the largest Pilot Con 70. Unfortunately, the pen's not easily eyedropper convertible because it has holes in the back of the body, which is actually a feature that any pen company that's marketing pens to children is required to do as a safety feature to help prevent choking. I think this is a fantastic pen. It's something fun, it's reliable, very portable. It's gonna be a great pocket pen. And at only $13.50, it's a pretty easy decision to get the Kakuno. So you can check it out at gouletpens.com. You can see more technical specifications and pictures of the pen. If you like this video and you want more like it, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or check us out on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching and right on.